Okay, so I have a drum loop here that I typed into my computer using uh, musical typing. Let's just quickly give this a listen. All right, so now I'm ready to lay down some melodic ideas, but I'm just sketching right now. So I'm gonna be using the internal microphone on my computer. Uh, so first things first, let me show you where you're gonna adjust the input level on your internal microphone. Similar to a gain knob on an audio interface, you would turn up the amount of signal that you receive. So you're gonna go up to the Apple on the top left-hand corner of your computer screen, go to System Preferences, and then you're gonna to navigate to Sound here. So I'm on the input right now, and you can actually see this is the input volume on my internal microphone, and I've got a pretty good amount of signal. If I went lower, I'd be the volume should be changing in the video as you see this since I'm using my internal microphone to record this video. Um, I have my earbuds connected and they have a microphone so it's saying external microphone but you, yours may say internal. If I go to an output um, we can have more information on that as well. I'm going out of my headphones. So we've got everything routed properly in the computer so now we need to load up an audio track in Logic here. I'm selecting add new track from this icon going to select audio and right here it already says built-in microphone but yours may say none or nothing um, and don't worry about that right now if you just want a generic audio track create so here's audio one so now that we've got the computer recognizing and uh, receiving signal from the internal microphone we need to make sure logic is doing it as well I'm going to go to preferences audio so here you're going to select the input and the output, built-in output, that's what I want. Actually, I have my headphones plugged in, so it really means my headphones, and then input device, built-in microphone. This is what you need to have selected. So make sure you have your headphones connected while you do this, because if you are monitoring, um, if sound is coming out of the speakers and then in through the microphone, you'll create a sound, a feedback loop, and it'll be really abrasive and loud. Okay, so here on audio one, I need to make sure the inspector is open on audio one so I can select an audio input. Here I have the input. I'm gonna go input one and two. So it's trying to make sure that you don't create feedback, so it's not monitoring right now. Check, check, check. So typically input record monitoring or input monitoring would allow you to hear everything, but logic is still Still making sure that uh, it doesn't create feedback. So I've armed this track, and actually once we record through once, it'll start monitoring for us, no problem. So I'm going to just uh, check and make sure I've got audio happening. Check, 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 yeah, yeah. All right, now I press the space bar. And you can see that now actually I'm still monitoring even though uh, I'm not recording anymore. So now it's saying, okay, you actually do wanna do that here. I'll, I'll keep monitoring for you. And I can take it off and you can see the track is still receiving audio, but I'm not um, hearing it through the input monitoring. You can also see what the signal level is like, which would have been really nice in the beginning as well. I'm getting really close to distorting just by talking. So I probably want to go in and turn the um, input volume down on my internal microphone. Let's go back to the input here, turn this down, check, 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 check. And you can already see that I'm um, not getting very close to distorting anymore, which was exactly what we wanted. So that's how you're gonna get audio in through your internal microphone. When you're done, just make sure you um, unarm the track and you should be good. Let's listen. Check, 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 check,